The universe is a vast and endless pool of secrets. Scientists have been trying their best to unravel these mysteries using their knowledge and modern technology. From the farthest ends of outer space to the very core of the Earth, scientists have made their way to places our ancestors couldn't have imagined. Every one of us has wondered what lies in the deepest parts of our planet. How low can we actually go? This is a challenge taken up by experts over the last five decades. They've been trying to drill a hole that goes deeper than any other. The goal is to eventually reach the Earth's mantle that constitutes 40% or probably more of the planet. The Earth has a radius of around 4,000 miles and the mantle is almost 1,800 miles thick. Believe it or not, the mantle is the major engine powering the constant evolution of our planet. It contains the geological record of most of Earth's history. Scientists first attempted to reach the mantle in 1958 with Project Molehole. In this project, American engineers drilled through the floor of the Pacific Ocean of Guadalupe, Mexico, but the project had to be abandoned as Congress cut off funding in 1966 before the drills could reach the mantle. So what exactly would we find if we dug a hole down to the center of the Earth? Well, there was a project by the Soviet Union that can give you a rough idea, and today we're going to tell you all about how it began and why this deepest hole in the world was just sealed. Kola Super Deep Hole is the name given to a scientific drilling project by the Soviet Union. It is located in the Pechensky district close to the Russian border with Norway on the Kola Peninsula. The project was launched with the goal to drill as deeply as humanly possible into the Earth's crust. On May 24, 1970, drilling began with the help of the Uralmash 4E, and later the Uralmash 15000 series drilling rig was employed for the same purpose. In 1979, the Kola Super Deep Hole backed the deepest man made hole in human history. The boreholes, having a diameter of 23 centimeters, were drilled by branching from a central hole. The deepest hole reached a depth of 12,262 meters in the year 1989 and was declared the deepest artificial point on Earth. It is the deepest borehole in the world in terms of true vertical depth. It also remained the world's longest borehole in terms of measured depth for two whole decades before being surpassed by the 12,289-meter-long Al Shaheen oil well located in Qatar in 2008. When drilling began in 1970, a serial drilling rig used for oil drilling called Uralmash 4E was used, but it was slightly modified so that it could reach a depth of nearly 7,000 meters. The new purpose-built drilling rig called the Uralmash 15000 was installed on site in 1974. It was named after the new target depth that was set at 15,000 meters. In June 1979, the Kola Super Deep Hole broke the world record of the Bertha Rogers Hole in Washita County, Oklahoma, the United States. The Bertha Rogers Hole was a whopping 9,583 meters deep. The first hole reached a depth of 11,662 meters in October 1982. And in January 1983, drilling for the second hole began from the 9,300 feet deep first hole. In the same year, the drill passed 12,000 meters in the second hole. This was a massive achievement, and in order to celebrate, the drilling was stopped for a year. During this time, numerous scientific and celebratory visits were conducted at the site. This break period contributed to the breakdown that occurred after drilling resumed in 1984. On the 27th of September 1984, a 5,000mm section of the drill string twisted off and was left in the hole at a depth of 12,066 meters. Drilling began again in September 1986 from 7,000 meters from the first hole. This third hole reached a depth of 12,262 meters in 1989. This was less than the geologists had anticipated, but still it was an achievement. In June 1990, another breakdown occurred and the drilling of a fourth hole was started, again from a depth of 9,653 meters in the third hole. It was stopped in April 1992 at 11,882 meters. Drilling of a fifth hole resumed in April 1994 from 8,278 meters depth for the third hole. In August of 1994, the drilling was permanently stopped due to lack of funds. The temperatures at this depth and location were unexpectedly high. Experts had anticipated that at most the temperature would reach 100 degrees Celsius, but in reality, it was around 180 degrees Celsius. They realized that drilling deeper would be unfeasible. 
The density of the Earth decreased unexpectedly at this depth, and the porosity was much greater. The high temperatures had rendered the rock down there to behave almost like plastic, making drilling nearly impossible. The Kola Superdeep Borehole penetrated a third of the way through the Baltic Shield Continental Crust, reaching the Archean rocks at the bottom. The Baltic Shield Continental Crust is nearly 35 kilometers deep. This project has been a site for extensive geophysical examinations. Scientists were quite puzzled when they found that there wasn't any transition from granite to basalt at depths of around 7 kilometers, where the velocity of seismic waves manifested discontinuity. They realized that the metamorphic transition in the granite rock was the real reason behind this change in seismic wave velocity. Besides that the rock there has been thoroughly fractured and it was saturated with water. And unlike the surface water, this water originated from deep crust mineral but failed to reach the surface because of the overlying layer of impermeable rock. Another strange discovery was the massive amounts of hydrogen gas. It was so abundant that the scientists described the drilling mud flowing out of the hole as boiling with hydrogen. An international geophysical experiment was successful in obtaining a seismic crustal cross-section from the well in 1992. The working group, COLA 92, had many different participants from many different specialities. There were researchers from the University of Edinburgh and Glasgow in Scotland, the University of Bergen, Norway, and multiple Russian earth science research institutions. Professor David Smythe recorded the experiment in a detailed video. When the drilling was completely terminated in 1995, the scientific teams were transferred to a federal state unitary subsidiary enterprise called Kola Super Deep, reduced and reoriented to a detailed study of the exposed section of Earth's crust. In 2007, the scientific team was dissolved for good and the equipment was partially liquidated and partially transferred to a private company. In the year 2009, even the company was liquidated because it wasn't profitable and the Kola Superdeep Borehole site was entirely abandoned. But even today, the Kola Superdeep Borehole SG3 retains the world record in terms of depth at an incredible 12,262 meters, and it is still the deepest artificial point on Earth. In all honesty, the scientists weren't actually expecting to find any signs of life that deep in the Earth's crust. But just like every other place they've explored, nature wowed them with its mysterious and powerful ways. Nothing was actually alive that deep, but they did find plankton fossils. The geological data obtained from this unfathomably deep hole may be eye-opening, but it's the paleontological revelations that took everyone by surprise. Nearly 6.4 kilometers down the Kola Super Deep Borehole, scientists discovered fossils that are estimated to be at least 2 billion years old. These microscopic plankton fossils were fairly intact when they were found, despite the intense environmental conditions in the hole. Scientists were able to determine from these fossils that at least 25 species of plankton were present so deep in the Earth. Experts believe that if they had explored any further, they would have found more species. These organisms were surrounded with organic matter that proved to be quite resilient to the atmosphere down the hole. More couldn't be found regarding the biodiversity in the depths of the Earth as the drilling was terminated. Many believe that it was halted due to the fall of the mighty Soviet Union, but most scientists think it was just one of the contributing factors. Some researchers believe that because water was found down there, it was only fair that some form of life also managed to adapt and live here in the past. The water was formed due to a strange phenomenon. The massive pressure in there forced hydrogen and oxygen atoms out of the rock and after these atoms had been squeezed out, the water had nowhere to go because of the impermeable rock layer lying above. Many conspiracy theorists also speculated that it was the discovery of these plankton fossils that made Russia shut down the project. However, in reality, the Kola Superdeep Borehole project wasn't discontinued because of this reason. The fact is that it became too hot to drill any deeper. In fact, at the time, it was reported that the heat wreaked havoc on the equipment. Despite that, some theorists even suggested that the Soviets never really stopped digging, even after their nation was split into different individual countries, which is definitely false as there is evidence of the hole being sealed, and people can actually visit the site to confirm it. Maintaining the bore became more and more difficult. It was almost like trying to keep a pit in the center of a pot full of hot soup. This dig also revealed that the sedimentary rocks found at depths of up to 6,800 meters date back to the Proterozoic era that begins around 2.4 billion years ago. 
The deeper granitic strata were apparently laid down as early as 2.7 billion years ago, during the first era of geologic time. Besides hydrogen and oxygen, the Earth is also enriched with lithium, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide, all of which were found in the borehole. The Earth's core is the thinnest of all layers, but humans haven't been able to drill all the way through it even today. But even if we attempted to drill the inner core, we'd have to drill past solid iron, which only seems easy in theory. This would actually be quite difficult, as the gravity near Earth's core is almost zero. Now, the Kola Super Deep Hole might be incredibly deep, but it only managed to drill one-third of the way through Earth's crust. However, it was the farthest anyone had gotten at that time. Today, the desolate site of the once exciting Kola Super Deep Borehole is just a destination for adventure-loving tourists. The project saw its fair share of ups and downs before it was closed down for good in 2005 due to a lack of funding. The drilling and research equipment may have been scrapped from the site, but the data obtained from the hole is still being analyzed by experts around the globe. Later on, the hole was welded shut by a metal cap that can be seen covering it even today. The Kola Superdeep Borehole project may not have lasted long, but that didn't stop scientists from trying to dig further into the Earth. The 1990 German Continental Deep Drilling Program in Bavaria kept the legacy alive as researchers passed through seismic plates and encountered temperatures as high as 315 degrees Celsius. But even the Germans couldn't go further below six miles as they also ran out of funding. Now, science and exploration may not have been an attractive enough reason to dig so deep into the Earth, but oil definitely was. That's probably why in May 2008, Maersk Oil drilled the world record extended reach well, called BD-04A in the field with the GSF Rig 127 operated by Transocean. Also called the Al Shaheen Oil Well, it was drilled incident-free to a record length of 12,290 meters in just 36 days. That's incredibly fast as compared to how long the drilling of the Kola Super Deep Borehole took. Do you think scientists will someday be able to drill through the core of the Earth, and what would happen if they do? Tell us in the comments below.